Hello everybody. Huh? Patricia from Texas is at you today and it's a nice cloudy day so I was able to raise the windows and uh, get some light in here to do this video. I hope there's not a whole lot of glare from the outside sun but it's too pretty not to enjoy this. What little bit of sunlight we're getting to see. Today we're going to decorate podge three frames uh, I say three three canvas boards they are a hundred percent cotton they are nine by twelve acid free ultra smooth and uh, got them at big lots for three dollars you don't always see these so grab them when you can and I'm going to use an old hymnal we're going to be taking some of the pages out, and some are already coming out, so it, I don't feel like I'm totally demolishing it. Uh, it's really hard to do this to this uh, particular hymnal because this I had several just for this type of thing, but I don't know what happened to them. Somewhere in the move... Either we sold them in a garage sale or they got thrown away because people didn't know what they were for. But whatever the case, we're going to decoupage these onto a canvas. And then in the next, in another video that I do, you will see, because we got to let them dry good. And I like to do that overnight in this kind of weather here. Uh, you'll see how I'm able to do a stencil on this paper. Okay, I could sit here and look through that hymnal all day long. Let's get this open. Got a pair of scissors here. And I'm just going to rip it. Notice there's a paper backing on the back of these. And if you know anything about canvas boards, they will warp so either plan on putting these in a frame or make sure that you have them weighted down while they are wet so that they can be uh, so they don't warp as bad okay I'm using Mod Podge today just a regular Mod Podge And I'm using a sponge applicator. If I need to tear, if I need to smaller, make the pages smaller, I'm going to use a ruler and tear them. It's got a metal edge, and so I'll use that edge to tear them. And then I'm using a jello cup or a fruit cup to pour the mod, mod, mod podge in. Hodge podge, modge podge. And first I'm going to stir it and I'm using the end of a paintbrush for any of you that paint. Oh, we got a little bit of strain there. Know that that's your best stirring tool if you need to get down in there good to stir. Okay, while this is wet. I'm going to go ahead and clean it. If I don't, I'll have a layer of Mod Podge, hodgepodge Mod Podge on there. Okay, and it's always good to keep some handy wipes. I've got Dollar General brand, and I didn't realize it until my granddaughter pointed it out yesterday that those stink. Not, it might be just because they've been out here in the studio, but they are alcohol free and hypoallergenic is the reason I buy them, but they really don't have a very good odor for them at all. So I guess when they're unscented, that's what happens. Okay, but have one of those handy in case you spill or you need to wipe your fingers. Modge Podge comes off very easily, but I'm going to pour some of that in here, not a whole lot. So I can judge how much I use. And there's that string. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Normally I just grab it with my fingers. You saw how I was going to do that. OK. 
Okay. Okay, we're gonna dip this down in here. Let's go ahead and pick before I get that started. Let's pick a couple of pages. I'm not sure. Oh, this is I'll Fly Away. Oh, I was just thinking about Stephanie the other day. We did a duo to together, and her dad played a song where she had sang "Leaving on a Flight uh, Jet Plane" that she had recorded, and we did. I bet this is that one huh but anyway we did all fly away together okay definitely that one amazing grace you do lily of the valley see how well it tears out Do Lord, do Lord, oh do Lord. Okay, I'll hush. I got the hint, I got the hint. Does it make it seem like I know what I'm doing? Or I know which songs I'm after? It re I really don't. Doing this randomly when I see one that I know and that I like. that one. I don't know if I'll be able to use it. I can straighten it out maybe. Oh, I like these weathered look. Okay. I like the way it tears too. To put that in there. Gives it a weathered look, a uh, aged look. Okay. Here we go. These hymns always make me think of my mother. She would be working around the house as a child and she would have... Uh, her Dell Evans records going, singing in the garden. My mother had a beautiful, beautiful alto voice and could sing anything and be able to harmonize. Oh my goodness. I wish I had half the gift that she had. Just half of it, or even a fourth of it. Beautiful voice. And actually, that whole Baker clan has a beautiful, beautiful voices. Okay, that might be enough for starters. And if you don't have an old hymnal like that that you can tear up, go on the internet and print out some pages. Uh, if this is something you might be wanting to do, print them out and then stick them in the oven on 250 for about 30 minutes. You can kind of gauge it as you go and see how long it takes. But uh, it will yellow the edges very nicely. You don't have to take a lighter to it. Just stick them on a baking sheet. Stick them in your oven, 250. You don't want it too hot. And uh, it'll slowly age the age it around the edges so that it looks old, even if it's not. And you can just print them out 
on your printer. Let's see, which one did I do that for? Doesn't matter. Put some Mod Hodgepodge. Let's just call it Hodgepodge today. I don't think Mod Podge would mind. I'm probably not the first person. And I put it down where I want it. And I'm going to take it all the way over the edge. So I need to put some over there too. You don't want to put too much. Did you see me drip just then? I don't know if I was in frame. And then you want to put some on top. If you put it under and on top, you know that you are going to get a good ad um, adhesion. Okay, see those wrinkles I'm getting in there? I don't want too much, so I'm going to get my little metal one and uh, try to get some of those bubbles out. I'd rather have wrinkles than bubbles. See me using my fingers. That will clean off very easily. Okay, where are we going next? Maybe right here, get along the edge. And I probably won't do all three of these. We're going to leave that crease in it too. I'm not going to worry about which way the hems go because they're going to be all over this page. And I could actually just use, you know, tear them all up into pieces and collage them on that way. But for this particular one, we're gonna leave them whole and let them layer up. And I know it's not something that you really need to learn using Mod Podge. Decoupaging has been around for a long, long time. And I know the idea of doing hymnals, but when you see the way that I do the lettering, that may be something new that you haven't seen. And then somebody would ask, well, how did you get the pages on there? So I thought I'd go ahead and do two videos. Uh, as you, If you've watched me at all, you know I'm not an editor. I just don't have time. I'm a caregiver for my dad. And not because he takes up a lot of my time, <laughs> yeah, but because I have other things that I have to do to keep the household running to his specifications. He's 92, set in his ways. He was in the Army. He is definitely perfection at, at most everything he does. Now, if y'all wanted to, you could trim these off. Use an X-Acto knife or just some scissors. But I am folding them right over the corners because of the way that I'm going to mount them. I'm not worrying about putting Mod Podge on the back, though. And I will actually probably take them to a framer to have them done. I could do it, but I don't really think... I think they'd do a much better job for me. But if I do decide to do it, I will make sure that I do a video on that also. Okay. Notice I have paper underneath here, and it's not newsprint. It is parchment paper. I meant to grab the freezer paper so it didn't stick quite as bad. Now, on this one, I just want this Rock of Ages one. So... 
I'm going to take my ruler, set it right there, and hold it down and tear. About right there. Okay. You don't really want to put too much. Now, I could be using a high-quality liquid, Liquitex or even some clear gesso. Clear gesso is going to give you more texture than you might want. But your pages do a lot of that. I really don't like that bubble. But that happens to paper when it gets wet. The fibers stretch out. I actually have a bubble in that one. I'll wait and see. It may when it dries. Okay. Yeah, let's see. We're going to do it for the corner and then we'll have to get a small piece over there. Don't want to cover up the name, but it looks like I may have to. Let's pull it up this way. I noticed somebody's comments on YouTube the other day how they were they liked watching theirs because they stayed on focus well guys I don't stay on focus in real life much less on a video if I was let's see fold that one in first want to get a nice clean corner fold this one down that might do it I need to tuck that in just a little bit more. Do a trifold there. Like I said, I don't stay on focus, and I know a lot of people don't like mine because they do drag on. I talk slower. Talk slower than most of the YouTubers. And I've had compliments on that because they can follow me a little bit better. So I probably won't try to change that. That's me. I went and saw the movie The Showman the other night. Oh man, I was so impressed. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Okay, this one I think we're going to just... I just want it right there and I don't want to fold the whole thing so we're going to take part of that off I could use it right there can I that's good right there right right about there okay Went and saw The Showman, and I have fallen in love with This Is Me, the video. I already loved the words, but I had not seen, just because I was waiting for the to watch the movie, I had not watched any of the associated videos except for the preview and the clip where... He is had just had surgery and they were going over some the songs and the lines and he wasn't supposed to sing doctor's orders after this nasal surgery 
and he did anyway. He just couldn't help himself. And that's all I had seen. Okay, I could take that and put it right here. Don't want to cover up too much of that. Here I go being frugal again. I like the torn edges better. Okay. Shouldn't be frugal. Shouldn't be frugal. Ha 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 ha. I just like saying the word, people. Okay. And I was had heard negative things about the movie, Back to the Showman, that it didn't get the reviews and the pocketbook at the box office that they expected. I'm sorry, people. I don't know why. It was excellent. The kids loved it. They, I can't say they loved it. They liked it. But if you're anyone like me that was bullied in school, or you have a dream and you want to oh that fits great almost let's see right there you have a dream that you want to fulfill and it just hasn't happened yet and you have barriers standing in your way and as my slogan goes Detours still lead to your destiny. Don't forget that. But not only was I entertained, I was able to relate. And I like that when I watch a movie. Okay, by pouring it in this cup, I know exactly how much Mod Podge it took for me to do this area so that when I do the next two, in that way, if I get interrupted along the way, I won't be wasting a lot if I don't get to finish a particular area. I'm going to take the end of this paintbrush that's bothering me. Get it up in there while it's still wet. See if that helps in this little bump, wrinkle. And like I said, when it dries, you're going to have a different surface than what you have now. It may be more wrinkled. It may have more bumps. Okay. Trying to fit it in here. I don't plan out these things. Because I wouldn't have placed it in the right spot anyway. Okay, I think what we're going to do is put that here and this here. So I only need a little bit of that. Instead of using the ruler, I'll grab this. going to take my heat gun and blow on this and show you what I plan to do with the edges. I 
And notice how I'm doing. I hope I'm staying in frame with y'all. I keep pulling it toward me. Okay. How does that look so far, guys? If you need to see how I'm doing this corner, maybe I'll make sure that I'm folding it over this way and then I'm bringing it up right here so it doesn't have such a flap on the side and doing just kind of a quarter fold and then bringing the entire page over. Okay, let's take the heat gun to this, and then, especially around the corners, and like I said, because it's 100% cotton, I could probably go ahead and uh, do the words on it. But I want, I want to know that everything is stuck down before I go to the final stages. And I'm taking too long already on this. Can you see the change in the color? You don't want to hold this heat gun there for very long because you know what's going to happen. It'll catch that on fire. These get really hot. Just went in the corners. Okay. Now, I've got some distressed ink. And I'm not even sure they still make this brand. Uh, it's Tim Holtz, so I know he's still around. But the Lucky Clover, the color. So I won't advertise those. And I'm just going to take, this is distressed ink. I'm just going to take it and dab it around the edges. sideways here. I like these little stampers. And I am going to use the purple and not the orange. I believe that was orange and red. It's card pumpkin and candy apple. I haven't looked at the name of his colors lately. I don't do a lot of stamping. Card making. Okay, wrong lid. Okay, let's get out our purple. Start at the edge that I started on. How's that looking, guys? Have to remember now that when you're dealing with a stamp, usually it's an ink. So if you get it on your hands, have that handy wipe. 
I mean, I'm so sticky right now from Mod Podge. Hodgepodge, Mod Podge. Okay. It is ready. Ooh, you know what would be pretty if I had done the Lily of the Valley? Up here at the top and had a beautiful Lily painted right here. Oh, there's an idea for another one. Okay, guys, this is one. I'm going to do the, the other two. And then in the next video that I do, or in I can't say it'll be the next, but when I do the next one, I will title it. I'll put decoupage in there. Stenciling the decoupaged hem pages or something like that. So that you will know which one to hunt for. Okay. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.